you want to use AI to make hyper-realistic images like this, and you want to do it locally on a little laptop like that, let me show you how. First things first, we're going to be using a software called Comfy UI. It is a node-based editor to interact with AI models. And the AI model we're going to use today is Flux. It is one of the most modern, most realistic models out there. There are a few different ones like SDXL, which some of you might know, but they are outdated at this point in time. For anyone who really does know what I'm talking about, I'm going to have some helpful links in the description in the beginning. It's going to be about how to install Comfy UI, how to download Flux, and how to maybe do your first generation. You'll see it in the description. Let's jump right in. We're going to start on Civit AI with my model. I'm going to have it linked down below. It's going to get a little update once the video is out to make it a little easier. Like with most models, we're going to have to download a few things. They, text encoders, and the model itself. This is the they, ae.safetensor. On Hugging Face, you can just click download. It will start the download. Now you can have two text encoders, Clip L and T5XXL. The FP8 scaled safe tensor, that's the size. I go smaller because I'm just working with laptop. But if you do have more VRAM, you can not use the scaled version. And here we have the model. Um, I'm going to use Pixel Waves Flux version because it's quite efficient and very realistic. You can use the normal one too. Under the model section on my workflow, I'm going to have both listed. You can decide what you want. As you can see here, we also have Flux Schnell. Um, if you need to go very quickly, um, that's also possible. All of this is using GGUF files because I have low VRAM. If you have very high VRAM, you can take the original safe tensors. That's not a problem, but you're going to have to change the workflow up a bit. Now that you downloaded everything, it should simply look like this. We're going to first put the model right into Diffusion Models. If you don't have any of these folders, like Diffusion Models, you just have to make them. Right? Now you put Clip L into Clip. We also put T5XXL into clip. And now lastly, the AE safe tensor, we're going to put into they, right? Once you've done that, now it is time to download the workflow. Here we go. I can open up the zip file and here you'll have your workflow. I simply start Comfy UI. You're going to need to have Comfy UI Manager installed for this one. Um, I cannot explain everything, so if you don't have it, just look it up online. You'll find it. It's quite easy to do. Once you um, open up the open up Comfy UI and open up my workflow, you can simply do this by dragging and dropping the file right into it. I'll show you real quick. Here you go. You're going to see a lot of stuff is missing. Now that you've installed the manager, though, you can simply click on the manager, install missing custom nodes. I'm going to show up right here. Just install all of them. I already have them installed, so I'll be back in a second. Let me just do a cut. You've installed everything. You restarted Comfy UI. You have all the models. You can make sure you have the models by selecting them right here. It should give you a list. If any of them say undefined, you haven't put them in the right folder or you haven't downloaded them. In the last video as well, I saw a lot of errors. I'm going to put it on the screen. If you're getting that error, it simply means you haven't downloaded any of the models and you haven't done the step. This isn't just open and it will work. You do have to install things. Okay. So now this is the loader. This is the they loader, this is dual clip. These are just all the loaders, pretty simply. And then you have the prompts for flux. It is important to know that there's two clips, so two text encoders. One clip L is just better for tags. So that's why here I have some tags. Now T5 is better for natural language. So here I have natural language prompt. I'm going to have some link as well to Reddit conversation about prompting um, in Flux that's going to make it a little easier. Here we have patch Sage Attention. Sage Attention is it's, it's a library. Um, it's like a smart shortcut for AI. It makes it faster 
but it is quite difficult to install. I have more information on that in my WAN 2.1 video if you are interested, but if you don't have anything like that installed and doesn't work and you don't know what I'm talking about, simply click this button, it's gonna bypass it for now. Okay, now here we go to the sample. So um, most of you might know what CFG is, but Flux uses a few different parameters. This is the guidance, this is the, samp the model sampling. Now, I wouldn't change this stuff. Um, the only important things really is that if you make a smaller or bigger image, you also should put it into the sampling so it knows what it's doing. Now, most of you might know steps. More the better, kind of. I like to think at about 50 steps, it doesn't get much better, but it's still a little bit of improvement, even up to 100. So you can play around with that and decide. I have an upscaler here. You can get rid of all of this if you don't want to upscale, if 1080p is enough for you. Um, interesting enough, I'm using a tile case sampler in my case, again, because of my VRAM limitations. Um, I have a very high model, Q8, so it's quite big, and it just it's going to give me an OOM error. I don't have enough memory if I use the normal case sampler. So these are all kind of the, the information on the workflow. I'm also going to have a lot of this written down on the Civit AI page, so check that out. Check out the comments as well. If you have any questions, you can also write a comment. If you have problems with it, I usually try to answer every day. So, yeah, the only real thing to do now, right, is to try it out. Some results right here, right here, right here. I think it looks good. I think it's a very simple workflow, um, simpler than a lot of other ones I've seen on Civit AI. You can use things like After Detailer if you are like if you know what that is, um, but it makes everything so much more complicated. So sometimes I believe it might just be better to take more steps, make it take a little bit longer for the generation, but it's just so much simpler than cropping into the face, detailing faces, detailing hands again. But you know, obviously, if you're a very experienced person, you should do that. Um, and yeah, who knows, maybe in the future I'll have a video of that too, if you guys really enjoyed this one. Um, yeah, you know, leave a like, leave a comment. We'd love to hear from you guys. If you have any problems, please just go to Civit AI, leave a comment, I'll definitely try to answer it. I'll see what I can do. Um, if you want to help me out, follow me on Instagram, help out my photography career here in Germany, and yeah, bye-bye.